Google has been lying to you for years, and we know this from their leaked documentation data in mid-2024. We now know that Google tells us one thing to rank our website higher, but their algorithm rewards something completely different. So doing what Google suggests isn't always the best way to rank your website higher, getting you more business. And this makes it extremely confusing as a business owner to know what on earth you're actually supposed to be doing to your website to rank higher and get more leads or sales. There's also way too much conflicting information about what actually works in SEO. But in this video, I'm gonna give you two proven frameworks you can adapt to any niche and any website that will help you get more traffic and rank higher. We've used these two frameworks for over 250 websites to help them get more traffic and more leads. Like Daniel, using one of these frameworks, he doubled his website traffic in less than four weeks. This got him more leads than he knew what to do with. And these two frameworks are very easy. Number one is the process of elimination. And number two is baking a cake. We'll get to baking the cake in a minute. It's really important for you to understand, but let's go through the first one, the process of elimination, because it's self-explanatory, although very, very effective when done correctly. This can be narrowed down into three main things. One, on-site SEO, content quality, and backlinks. And within those three, there are sub-steps in each of those categories, which can get convoluted and a bit overwhelming, but I've prepared a little checklist for you that you can get for absolutely free. It'll be in the video descriptions below. It's a bit of a checklist. The checklist comes with the things you need to do, links to free tools that will allow you to check your website, and even with some high quality prompts that you can use to fix your website as certain components. So make sure you get that in the video description below. But for now, let's get to on-site SEO. I've got a website here that we're going to analyze quickly to see if their on-site SEO is really good. The first thing that I like to look at is the metadata of their website. And predominantly, I'm trying to check if their main keyword is correctly placed throughout the most important parts. For example, I know that this website is a dog training website in Melbourne. They also do puppy training services. So if I use my handy SEO wallet Chrome extension, which you can get for free, I see that the title tag here says ethical dog training. Okay, but it could be a lot better. I would probably put something like professional dog and puppy dog training in Melbourne. See here, I'm telling Google exactly what I want to be associated with, which is the services that I provide and the location. I'm telling Google, hey, I'm a dog trainer and I'm in Melbourne, instead of just ethical dog training, which isn't enough. Also, the meta description is missing. The meta description, you can think of a digital sales pitch. This is the little thing that comes below the clickable title in the search engine results page. And if you write this correctly, it'll increase your click through rate. And for the most part, you just wanna have a description of what the user can expect by going to your website. And most importantly, you want a good call to action. For example, here I would place professional dog and puppy dog training in Melbourne from sit to well behaved, book a free consultation. That would be the CTA, the call to action, therefore increasing my click through rate. That's number one when it comes to on-site SEO. Another one is website loading time speed. This is extremely important for two main reasons. One, speedy website Google loves, so it's good for your SEO, but a speedy website will also get you more conversions. The slower the website, the worse user experience, the worse your leads are going to get. You can see that I've done a free test with GT Metrics. Again, these links are all in the checklist that I've provided. And you can see that it's given me a grade of D, meaning this is critically slow. And if I scroll down a little bit, it's telling me that it's taking 7.1 seconds to fully load way too slow. Ideally, I want it somewhere around 2.5 seconds. And GT Metrics also tells me, well, what is attributing to the slow loading of my website? Now, if you're not a technical person, don't worry. What you can do is download this as a PDF. If you go to share, you can download the report. And I've built a custom GPT to help you make sense of this all, because this can be quite confusing if you're not a website developer. What you do, is you download the GT metrics report. You're gonna place it into this custom GPT, the GPT report analyzer, and then it's gonna tell you what you need to do in plain English. You can see a summary here of what this means, telling you it's slow, high priority, long-term tasks, and these are the things that I can do. Reduce image size, perfect. It even gives me the recommendations on the free tools that I can use. 
quick little wins right here. Now, there's a lot more to on-site SEO, but if you've done everything in the checklist, you can check that. Now we can move on to the next one and we need to move on to the next items in our process of elimination until something clicks, literally. And the next item in that is content quality. A lot of people spend hours trying to create high quality content, but they just think that I think this blog is a good idea to write about. They write it, they get no traffic. For 90% of the websites that I see, the main problem is that people aren't writing blogs that people care about. The way to fix this is to use a tool like Answer Socrates, this is free, to find out what are people are asking about your topic, your service, or your keyword in your location. Here, I've placed the topic, dog training, the country, Australia, language, English, and search. Whilst a lot of people say we don't speak English in Australia, we do. So now this has given me 1,208 generated questions. And this is really important because now I can say, well, okay, I can start answering these questions in a blog post and I'm gonna get the right traffic because that's what actually people are looking for. For example, how do training clickers work? How do dog training clickers work? I can write a detailed blog post about that and it should get traffic because well, people are actually searching for this. This also helps you become the topical authority figure in your niche, which is a good thing. So great, content quality checked. The final step in our process of elimination is backlinks. And this tends to be a bit of a black magic aspect in SEO. And I'm gonna give you a couple of dirty secrets by the end of this section, so you really wanna stick around for that. But mainly, we need to understand that there are different types of backlinks that we can get. We can get your generic backlink or link insertion, we can get local citations, and we can even get a social mention. Now, there are a lot of ways to get backlinks. If you're a local business, the first thing that you should be doing, if you haven't done so already, is do a quick Google search for free online business directories in and you insert your location. Let's do that for Australia, for example. Free online business directories in Australia. I'm gonna hit search and undoubtedly, there'll be a list of about 50 to 100 free online business directories that you can upload your website into. This will increase the local citations. Now, before you do that, one very important thing to keep in mind is that you need to keep a consistent nap. NAP stands for name, address, and phone number. All these things need to be the same throughout all of these directories, but this will help your visibility quite a lot. If you're not a local business, one very easy and effective way to get high quality backlinks is to get yourself on featured.com. They put subject matter experts and publicators together. Let me show you how it works. If I make an account, and you can make a free account by the way, you'll see that a lot of publicators are asking questions. Let me take a look at this one for example. What is one way ethics will shape the future of AI in business? I've got some experience in that. I can probably answer that question. And I know that the publicator asking that is ella.arizona.edu. That is a really good backlink, particularly because it's from an education. If I answer that question really well, they are going to reference me in that answer and the reference is gonna to come to me in a source of a backlink. Really good way, I use this all the time to get really high quality backlinks. And the final way to get a backlink, and this is the big dirty secret of SEO, is buying a backlink. And while Google says we don't condone buying backlinks, we know that this is a lie because it wouldn't be a multi-million dollar industry if in fact it didn't work. And the truth is that it works so damn well but a couple of rules when you're buying a backlink. Number one, never buy a backlink from Fiverr. And number two, make sure you get them from a reputable source because it's not all about how many backlinks, it's the quality of the backlink. But I myself get these guys, get me links to do my own backlinks because they manually outreach for those links. We have meetings together, we formulate the strategy together, but they do all the work and yeah, I pay them to do it. So technically I'm paying for a backlink, but I don't care, it works really well. So I outsource them to them. This shouldn't be the first thing you do for a backlink. Do the other things, local citations, get on featured, try to use all of the other possible ways to get a backlink before you pay an agency to do so because it can get quite expensive. It's worth it in the long run though. That is the process of elimination. If you've checked all those things, 
and you've done these correctly, you can come back to your website, you can check out the analytics on your website in a couple of months, and you I can promise you that you will increase your website traffic and your overall ranking. Don't forget to get your free SEO checklist for that. There is a lot of cool stuff in here, even a lot of prompts that will help you out to optimize your on-site SEO. And the second framework is building a cake. I use this as a simple metaphor to understand SEO because SEO can be a little bit like that. To build a cake, you need a bunch of different ingredients. You can't just build a cake with eggs, otherwise you'll get an omelet. In that same instance, if we use eggs as the metaphor for backlinks, you can't just do really well as good at SEO by just getting backlinks. You're not really doing things correctly, but you can change the measurements. So for example, to make a good SEO strategy, you need eggs, you need backlinks, you need flour, let's call that on-site SEO. You also need milk, let's call that high quality content, and maybe some vanilla essence, good keyword research. All of these things will make a really good SEO strategy. But the trick is that sometimes you need to change the measurement for the ingredients. For example, in one industry or niche, having more eggs AKA having more backlinks might be worth it and that cake is gonna be a lot better for us. That SEO strategy is gonna be a lot better for that niche. I hope this metaphor makes sense. Clearly I don't bake. <laughs> but that in essence is kind of the strategy that you need to follow. Try to do all these things and then you'll start seeing what do you need to add more of for your strategy or for your cake to be more delicious. And if you're getting overwhelmed with all these things, which is fair enough, I think the final thing to do is try to join a community. You can go on Reddit and there's a million other communities. I would recommend, obviously, dirty, disgusting plug, but you can join our community AI ranking because I don't think this should be a single player sport. I think you are more likely to succeed in the world of SEO if you play it as a team sport. Because if you get a lot of experts helping you out and looking at your SEO strategy or at your data from different angles, you're a lot more likely to find out how you can win at SEO. We also provide a lot of support and a lot of structured approaches to thinking about different methods to doing SEO. If you think this might be for you, you can try it out risk-free for seven days and that comes with an onboarding session. So even if you don't like it after seven days, send me a DM and I'll refund you 100%. So there's really no risk for you. And that my friends is it. Don't forget to get your checklist in the video description below. And if you found value on this video, all I ask that you consider subscribing to the channel and hit that like button. It really helps us out. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.